What is going on, y'all? It is Far Gas here. Hopefully, you're having a great and wonderful day out there in the wasteland, friends. Today, we're going over the top five camps that were submitted to our Discord. If you are a builder in Fallout 76 and you would like to submit your build or you're just a fan of gaming, make sure to check the description below and join Vault 645's Discord. Y'all sit back, relax, and let's talk about these camps. And now, kicking off this week, we have Busting My Ashley in fifth place with their BMAN Motel. And in comparison to some of the messed up motels that we know throughout the wasteland this is one that i would absolutely love to stop in at least for the night on my journey throughout the wastelands of appalachia and i mean really here's the question that you got to ask yourself would you rather stay at this place or would you rather stay at the mountainside bed and breakfast and potentially not wake up the next morning but y'all this is a really well designed motel from the interior and the exterior the choices that ashley did is absolutely amazing the team really loved the decorations and how it feels like an immersive build because honestly this does look like someone took a reimagining of what an inn or a motel looked like from the pre-war days of Appalachia and moved it into the post-apocalyptic world that we know nowadays and seriously there is not a lot going on as far as the decorations and you know how we see a lot of places out there in the wasteland even in real life how everything is overly decorated in some motels, some inns. They gotta, they gotta have little things everywhere out there in the wasteland. But this, this place, friends, this does not have that. So little spots like that complimentary area for the coffee and tea really do stand out. And it feels absolutely lived in, like they're just waiting for their next guest to come in. And you gotta hope that it's not the Bates Motel as well, you know, waiting for the next guest and how crazy mom can be. But the team absolutely love this build. Busting my Ashley, this is an amazing build thank you so much for sharing this with everybody and i cannot wait to see what you have planned for us next go around and now in fourth place this week, we have Dazmead with their High Life version 2.0 camp design. And straight off the bat, you can see why they call this living the high life. And Zach Brannigan would be absolutely proud. He would definitely say that this is the Shanpagan of camps out there in the wasteland. Because, you know, high life. If you've seen Futurama, and if you haven't seen Futurama, please watch Futurama. It's absolutely wonderful. But look, I'm not a fan of heights, okay? I don't like heights but i would absolutely love to visit this camp on my travels because of how amazing that view would be and i would love to see that but i absolutely love how they created that elevator with the power connectors and the items in this build that are merged in together it's absolutely wonderful the team talked about how amazing this camp looks and how much of a pain in the tuchus it had to be to actually design in this location and that's another thing to see builders use pre-existing locations is absolutely wonderful to my builder brain or non-builder brain that I have but it's one of those things that I love seeing people actually use things from the pre-war now that could be that the personal like life mentality that I have of hating seeing a building in the real world not be used for 10 years but I absolutely love to see pre-existing locations and the team absolutely talked about how this is such well merged together with so many items. And you know Silver Bunny had to sit there and talk about how the lighting was absolutely wonderful. That woman absolutely loves lighting and she loved the look of this build. But absolutely wonderful job with this camp design. Thank you so much for showing this and I can't wait to see it. I'll have to jump on the console or something just to see this camp for myself. And now in third place, we have ND with their snack bar camp. And now I don't know about you, but I absolutely love Yasmin Shalkerty as a camp ally. And you'll have to let me know in the comment section below. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Because personally to me, the fact that we can get meals from Yasmin Shalkerty is absolutely wonderful. I absolutely love it. And this place feels so immersive, y'all. I mean, look, it's got like a bus stop and a snack shop. So it's like two two in one it's absolutely wonderful how nd comes up with this stuff and i love every little merge that they have in here there is so many little designs that i had to watch this like two or three times to really pick up on a lot of this stuff because they'll just put something just out of the blue just for you to pick up on a watch and i really do think that anyone watching these videos really should go and watch these videos on the user
user's channel because there are a lot of things that you're going to miss in these small little previews. But ND, this is absolutely amazing. The team mentioned how they really liked how the camp was built using the road as its location like it's an actual bus stop. That is how immersive these builders out there in the wasteland do with their builds. And it's something that I wouldn't personally think about because I don't have that in my brain, but Indy, it is absolutely wonderful that you took the time to design this camp, and it really does look like they are waiting either for their morning rush, their afternoon rush, or something like that. It looks so immersive. It feels lived in. It feels like I would potentially go there back in my days of working at a restaurant, and I, you know what, buddy? I absolutely love it. Congratulations on the third spot. You definitely earned it this week, and thank you so much for sharing this. And now in second place this week, we have Mermaid with their Radiation Vacation. And you might recognize this build from the final send-off for the top five on TNG's page where they did a live judging competition for all of the camps. And it had him and everybody in chat absolutely laughing at the animation at the start of this video. And I love what they did with the design of this camp and the video. There is a certain storytelling that goes into camp building, and they had the prowess to show that off in this video as well as their building skills because this once RV has turned into an amazing looking camp and the team talked about how there is not a lot of space in this RV, so you have to decorate it, and it can't look cluttered. And Mermaid did an amazing job with this, and this is a camp that I would absolutely love to visit and relax at while I'm on my journey through the wasteland. And this camp has everything that someone could need, and I love the immersion in this build. The lighting in this build is absolutely amazing, and I really can't mention enough of how they did such an amazing Amazing job decorating in such a small space. Amazing job, Mermaid. And thank you so much for sharing this build with the community. And I am looking forward to seeing what you have planned for the top five in the future. And hey, if you ever want to take a second and potentially try to teach me how to build a vehicle or anything like that, I will absolutely try my hardest and try my best to listen to y'all's expertise in trying to build one of these vehicles. I know that's one of probably the hardest things to build, just like building the high life, you know, up in a pre-existing location, but seriously, but amazing job. And now before we get in here and talk about the number one spot and the honorable mentions, I want to give a huge shout out to every builder that entered in this week. We had 16 folks enter in and it means the absolute world to the team and I that y'all are helping keep the top five series alive. And y'all seriously, you are doing such an amazing job out there in the wasteland and you should hold your head high. We can only pick five out of all of these amazing builds. And honestly, if we could have every single one of them in there, I absolutely would. Y'all did such a great and wonderful job. And the team that is helping me keep this top five series alive is Moonlight Cowboy, Silver Bunny, Nux, Stabby, and Yeah Bear. Make sure to let them know in the comment section how much you appreciate them helping keep the top five series alive as well. Seriously, y'all, thank you so much for doing so much for the community, the builders to the team. I absolutely love y'all. Appreciate you. And our first honorable mention this week is Vi with their Tranquility Within the Storm. And it kind of makes me think of Tranquility Lane because of how calm and peaceful this build looks and feels on the outside of looking at it. But you know how absolutely crazy the storm is, something that you can't see. And I think she covers this very well in this build. And it's one of those little immersive things and a little backstory that we can tell to ourselves or that the creator will tell to us and this is one thing that I love about the top five but Vi you did an amazing job with designing this camp and I think it could most certainly be a final contestant in the top five and I really love that they utilize some tricks to have those stairs the way that she does and I love some of these merges that they have amazing job bud and look forward to seeing what you have planned for the future in the top five. Next honorable mention we have is Lady H with their Somerville Pumpkin House and now if you see this camp out there in the wasteland do not not be confused friends this is not where you're going to turn in those pumpkins that you just picked up this is by far such an amazing looking 
camp. Can we just say that if they did a redesign of the pumpkin house, I would want it to be something like this because of how Lady H decorated this. The team talked about how much they really enjoyed the lighting, the decorations, and how cute some of these merges were. Amazing job, bud. Honestly, this is something that I would love the art team to see and potentially change up the pumpkin house a little bit to have more of the kind of vibrant design that you chose, and I would love to see what they did with with a redesign of that place, but Lady H, absolutely amazing. Keep up the great work. But now each week the team has a chance to enter in a build that they have built to have a spotlight since they cannot enter into the top five competition. This is a great way of them being able to show off some builds. And this week's submission comes from Yet Bear with their Thrasher Nest. And now look, remember how I said that we can have stories that we tell each other, whether it be us telling ourselves or the creator. Now there is some backstory to this place. You see, Yet Bear wrote a little bit about how there has been no one that has dared to kick the Thrashers out of this nest ever since they took over the cabin from the Mothman cultist. And I absolutely love that they wrote a bit of a backstory to this place. But it really does look like, genuinely, it really does look like a Thrasher nest. Now, look, maybe I'm just weird, but I am definitely wanting some turkey and I will gladly kick those thrashers out of this place for you, yeah, Bear, if you want the Mothman cultist to take this place back over because uh, I love the Mothman. You know, I, I, I'm like Brick. I love Lamp. I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm just uh, yelling out the inner workings of my brain or something. like. I don't, I don't know. But, yeah, I absolutely love this place. This place looks perfectly lived in. It's messy enough that it looks like Thrashers have lived in here for quite some time, but you can also see the remnants of the Mothman cultist and what they had at this camp. Yeah, Bear, absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for everything you do for the Top 5 series. Seriously, buddy, love you to death. And now coming in and first place this week, we have Lady J with their Morbid Manor. And now someone better call Ernest and give me some troll away because I'm a bit scared. Uh, while I'm watching this video, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. This is probably one of my favorite uh, Halloween camps thus far. It's spooky, but it's also inviting. And if you get the Troll Away Spray uh, reference and you've seen Ernest Scared Stupid, we're what? We're absolutely one. And Lady J, this is absolutely such a well-designed camp, and I love how they decided to decorate it and theme it. Something the team kept mentioning while talking about this place was how amazing the lighting was. And in this camp, I absolutely agree. The lighting was on par and so absolutely well done. The team also talked about how this is their favorite Halloween camp thus far in October. And like I said, this is... This is absolutely my favorite as well. And seriously, if you have anything that you'd like to submit as far as the top five, whether it be Spooky Camp, we do have that top five for the top five Spooky Camps in Appalachia, the camps for the week. We do have that up. If you'd like to submit it, make sure to check the description down below for the Discord. But I really do believe that if Bethesda was going to do another spooky type building or a location or like maybe bring in certain spots that pop up or go away or like a, a seasonal change bit, this is a spot that could absolutely be there. This is something the art team could absolutely have made. This is such a great and wonderful, wonderfully done camp. And I love how immersive this build is. But also, while being creepy, like I said, it is inviting. It wants you to come in and experience what it has in the store for you. And I think overall, I have to say, this being my favorite spooky camp thus far, like this is gonna, this is this is this is setting the spooky camps up to a whole nother level. This is this is you know, it's like that King Pale. Uh, it's, it's like here, and I and now I'm right here. It's yeah, it was right here, but now I'm right here. For as far as like the spooky stuff, this is this, I, I gotta tell you, this is absolutely amazing. I'm I'm rambling on over here, but yeah. Seriously, Lady J, I love what you did with this camp. And as you can tell, I'm a bit rambly because I can actually talk, unlike last week where I could not put two word salads together. And I'm absolutely wonderful. So happily, happy to talk about all of these camps. But yeah, look, word salad aside, absolutely amazing job. Thank you so much for sharing this with the community. And thank you for entering into the top five. And I can't wait to see what you have planned for the future.
Thanks so much for taking time out of your busy day to check this video out and let us know in the comment section below what your favorite camp this week is. And seriously, thank you so much to the channel members. It means the absolute world to me that y'all are here. And seriously, y'all have a great, wonderful day out there in the wasteland. Peace. Love you.